finally finished. Hey Rick, yeah, just finished it, last one. Can't believe this is the last time I'll do a Star Wars movie. Yeah, I'll be back at the ranch in a few days. Hey, tell Sansweet I found a toy store here in town that has the Return of the Jedi Huffy bicycle he's been looking for. All right, see you in a few, bye. through an old closet and it was just sitting there when I wrote A New Hope I used to carry it around in this when I was looking for a studio I was a filmmaker back then you're still a filmmaker George I ain't been a filmmaker since I got into this Star Wars business well it's not a bad business to be in and most fans got around to liking episode 2 didn't they please Anakin Skywalker bought you this ranch He's putting your kids through college. It got you the Presidio and a video game company. And what thanks do you give him? You go and drop him in molten lava! Never meant for him to become my life, and so far as Jar Jar Binks goes, if I don't kill him off now, then I'll just have to keep writing about him forever. Now, I'm gonna go back to Colorado and finish writing this script. Maybe then I can get out of this Star Wars business forever.
biggest fan. There's nothing to worry about. I'll take good care of you. I'm your number one fan. I'm your biggest fan. I'm your biggest fan. There's nothing to worry about. I'll take good care of you. I'm your number one fan. I'm your number one fan. There's nothing to worry about. I'll take good care of you. I'm your number one fan. Don't worry about. I'll take good care of you. I'm your number one fan. Where am I? My name is Franny Filks. We're just outside Saltpeter Creek. You've been here for two days. You're going to be okay. Why am I not in the hospital? Can't get to one. This blizzard's made a mess of things. The phones are down too. <coughs> Don't strain yourself. You're pretty banged up, but you're going to be all right. I popped that dislocated shoulder back into place. Look at the beautiful work I did on those legs. You have a compound fracture of the tibia in each. As soon as the road's open, I'll take you to a hospital. But until then, I would be honored if you would recover in my home. Yes, this is Rick McCallum in San Rafael, California. I'd like to speak to the Saltpeter Creek Sheriff, please. What's me? I'm also president of the local Snipe Hunters Union, and if you want someone to do bandages with you, you could do a lot worse. Call me Boozer. Everybody else does. How can I help you? I'm George Lucas's producer. I hate feeling so grim, but we think he may be in some kind of trouble. You mean George Lucas, the movie director? Boy, everybody sure loves those Star Wars movies. Yeah. Well, we haven't heard from him, and he usually keeps in touch with us when we're making a new movie. He was spending a few weeks at the Saltpeter Creek Lodge, finishing up the Episode 3 script. Ah, hate that I made this call. Tell me that I'm just being grim. Well, we had a bad blizzard out here last week, closed down the roads, uh, but... Other than that, nothing's crossed our radar screen. You sure you haven't heard from him? Just right after he left. I don't know, dude. This sounds grim. This sounds really, really grim. Please call me if you hear anything, Sheriff. Yup. Thanks, dude. Bye. Not a miracle at all, really. I found out you were staying here after it was posted on a fan website. Oh man, not those guys again. Well, sometimes I would watch the light in your cabin and imagine what you were doing next with Star Wars. <laughs> it really is my entire life, you know? Well, one night I was on my way back and I noticed you were leaving. And I wondered what you were doing out driving when there was a big storm coming. Lucky for you that I was there. And lucky for me, because now you can write more Star Wars movies. Oh, George. I've seen everything of yours. I know the Star Wars movies by heart. All five of them. You're very kind. Do you think the phones are working? Uh, I need to call my producer and kids back at the ranch. The phone should be working soon. I can keep trying to reach them for you. Thank you. Could I ask you a favor? 
Sure. I noticed in your folder that you have the script for episode three, and I was wondering... You'd like to read it? If you wouldn't mind. Well, not many people are supposed to see it at such an early stage. McCallum, my concept artist, and anyone who saves me from freezing to death. <laughs> sure, you have no idea how much this means to me. What's the title? I haven't thought of one yet. Maybe you could come up with one for me. <laughs> like I could come up with a great title like Return of the Jedi. Ooh, Revenge of the Sith. Oh, that's horrible. Salt Peter Creek Sheriff's Office, how can I help you? Hi, this is Ron Howard. Hey, Mr. Howard. Boy, everybody sure loved you as Opie on that TV show. How can I help you? Gosh, thanks. Has George Lucas been found yet? His friends are all starting to worry. Well, no, not yet, but I'll be putting out an APB form on this end. Gosh. Yep. Well, I'll let you know if I hear anything. Um, say hey to Aunt B in the Fonz for me. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Jar Jar's spirit's still alive. I don't want his luminous being! I want Jar Jar! I want my Jar Jar! And you murdered him! I didn't murder him. He got stomped on by that ad after he slipped and fell. Slipped and fell? Slipped and fell? He did not just slip and fall! You did it! You did it! You murdered my Jar Jar! about Jar Jar, even if you never did. I don't want to be around you for a while. I don't think anybody's coming for you because they aren't. No one knows you're here. Not the doctors, not your family, not even Harry Knowles. You better hope nothing ever happens to me. Peter Creek Sheriff's Office, how can I help you? Hi, I'm Steven Spielberg. Wow, Mr. Spielberg. Uh, boy, I sure did love 1941. Yeah? Really? Yeah? Wow. Hey, sorry to bother you, but have you had any luck finding my buddy, George? Not yet, Mr. Spielberg. We're still looking. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Okay, we'll keep you posted. Okay, right, bye. Happy? No. I have a big surprise for you. But first, there's something you must do. My thinking's a bit muddy. It's why I couldn't remember everything when I was in the insane asylum. But this time, I asked the Force about you. And the Force said, he is delivered to you so that you might show him the way. Show me the way.
And now, George, you must rid the world of this filth. I know this may be difficult for you, George, but it is for the best. Well, I know it's not difficult at all. My producer and, and our crew, they, they all have copies. So even if I burn it, I, I won't be destroyed. Then light the match, George. I know it's the only copy. When you were 10 years old, you wrote a story called The Land of Zoom, and you were afraid no one would take it seriously. That's why you only make one copy. You're superstitious. You told that story to Bill Moyers 11 years ago. Why don't you let me keep it for myself? No one ever has to know that Bing dies. As long as it does exist, this evil will exist. Light the match, George. of the force. We're put here to help people. Like I am trying to help you. You're on the dark side, George. Help me bring you back to the light. Salt Peter Creek Sheriff's Office, how can I help you? Hi, my name is Josh. I run a Star Wars website. Is it true that George Lucas has gone missing? And can we post that as a spy report? Oh yeah, hi. Um, yeah, boy, people sure do love that website. Um, we haven't found anything on Mr. Lucas yet. Oh, so not sweet. Not awesome. Okay, thanks, bye. I gotta get to work. Isn't this nice? This is a very big day for you. Now hold on while I set it up. Set what up? Your new studio, silly. So you can keep writing Star Wars. What? You're going to rewrite episode three, George. But this time, you're going to do it correctly. You're going to make it the way I want to see it. You're going to bring Jar Jar Binks back to life. He doesn't have to die now that you've burned that nasty script. And after that, you can start to work on episode seven. Jar Jar's Big Adventure. Jar Jar's Big Adventure. I know you didn't mean to do it, George. But now you can make it right. It'll be a movie in my honor for saving his life and bringing you, nursing you back to health. George, this is even better than making a fan film. So, did I do good? You did great. But, there's just one problem. This is laser paper and it won't work in a manual typewriter. So, could you go back into town and pick me up another kind? 
It's not that I don't appreciate it, Franny. I just thought you might would like to know how it's all written. Thanks for thinking of me. Need anything else from town? Any other crucial requirements? Need a tape recorder? How about I bring back the whole store? Franny, what's the matter? What's the matter? I'll tell you what's the matter. I go out of my way for you. I watch your movies. I buy your toys. I even burn my copy of the holiday special just to make you happy. And what thanks do I get? This is the wrong paper, Franny. Why don't you stupid paper? But you better just start showing me a little more appreciation around here, Mr. Plaid.
Marge, what's wrong? You know what's wrong. I'm hurting. Oh, here. Oh, it just breaks my heart to see you like this. Let's, let's get you back. <coughs> I've been doing lots of things. And I think that maybe the reason I'm not popular is because of my temper. In case you have any ideas, you can use me as your inspiration. I have faith in you, George. Feel. Don't think. Use your instincts. Sorry, George. You're gonna have to throw this all out. It's just not worthy of Star Wars. What? Except for the part where you named the hut after me. You can leave that in. You sure you're not being a little hasty here? George, what you've written just isn't real. Is it real? Yes, Mr. Plaid. When I saw the first Star Wars growing up in Derry, when Greedo confronts Han in the cantina, Han pulls his pistol right out of the holster and without any warning, fires through the table and hits Greedo in the chest and Greedo dies. Then you did the special editions and Greedo shoots first and misses from two feet away. And then Han shoots him and everybody cheered. But I didn't cheer. I stood up right in the middle of that theater and I shouted, Greedo never shot first. This isn't fair. This isn't how it's supposed to happen. Are you people stupid? He just cheated us. The only gun that's fired belongs to cock a duty Han! But bad guys always shoot first in these kinds of movies. That isn't how you did it the first time. You shouldn't have tried to fix Star Wars. And now you can finally make it right. Along with everything else. So you like episode 7 so far? Shall I continue writing it? You better! George, this is brilliant! After Jar Jar was accidentally frozen in carbonite, and how Franny the Hutt said that the same thing happened to Han Solo 30 years earlier, and how Jar Jar was secretly being trained as a Jedi by Obi-Wan because Kenobi always thought that Palpatine was evil. George, I have known from episode 1 that Jar Jar just had to have been a Force user. And I was right! George. Can you tell me if Jar Jar is going to be a Jedi Master? You have to wait.
Jar Jar is a Jedi! Jar Jar is a Jedi! I am so excited. I'm gonna go put on my Slim Whippin' CDs. Um, Star Wars A New Hope. I think if I can't find George Lucas, I can at least find out about the movies that he made. Uh, we come out of hyperspace and meteor shower, some kind of asteroid. Look at me, Teddy, for that small moon. I think I can get him before What's he gets that? here. He's almost in range. Um, the Millennium Falcon, they're, That's they're being pulled inside the Death Star. They're, they're, they're doomed. It's too big to be a space station. That's nice, dude. George? I know you've been out. My little gunk droid always faces toward the real Tatooine in Tunisia. At first I didn't know how you got out. But I found your key. Gunk droid? I honestly don't know what you're talking about. Looking for this. I know what you're thinking, George. Last night, it became so clear. I'm going to finish that third trilogy after all. I just need more time. George, do you want to get to diamond miners who stole diamonds? They didn't kill them. They performed an operation called hobbling. Franny, what, whatever it is you're gonna do, I, please, I wish you wouldn't. <laughs> For Pete's sake, Franny! Trust me! Love you, I do.
don't get many visitors. Sorry to bother you, Miss Filks, but I was wondering if you could help me and tell me anything you know about George Lucas. Well, he was born in 1945 in Modesto, California. He grew up on a walnut ranch. He attended Downey High School and attended the University of Southern California, where he majored in film studies. Well, that's, that's, that's all well and good, man, but I was wondering if you knew anything about his disappearance. Oh, I know. So sad. I'm his number one fan. Would you like to come in for some tea? I'm proud of you. Thank you, man. When I heard about the disappearance, I was so upset. I don't think this is silly, but I called on the Force. And the Force told me that because I'm his number one fan, that it was up to me to take his place. So I went into town, and I bought a typewriter and some type and paper, the same kind George Lucas uses. And I turned my guest bedroom into a writing studio. Would you like to see it? Yes, absolutely. Sure, ma'am. I know the way he wrote, the kind of words he used, the wonderful characters he created. For the last four weeks, I have been trying to write like George Lucas. But it just doesn't seem right. Maybe it takes a while to get the hang of it. I could give you a few scenes of mine. You can tell me what you think. I'm not much of a movie critic, man. Listen to me prattling on. You'd think I'd never had a guest before. Let me go get your tea. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Much obliged. George. It was bound to happen sooner or later. But they'll be coming for us soon. It's time for us to rejoin the Force. I'm not. And, and you're right. It must be this way. So that Jar Jar can fulfill his destiny. I'll start writing episode 9 tonight. Let me finish it, Franny. Later tonight, it'll be done. And we'll have given Jar Jar back to the world. I'll go get you something to eat. Soon enough, just started the final act. Now, when I finish, I'd like for it to be perfect. So I'll, I'll need a few things. Oh, I know! I need a fresh plaid flannel shirt and a glass of yogurt. of Sith fighting the Jedi to rule the galaxy? <laughs> Who wins? You'll know everything in a minute. 
get to you. Remember how for all those years no one knew who Anakin's real father was? It's all right here. Could it be Palpatine or Qui-Gon? Who is the real Sith Master? Was Han Solo really Boba Fett's second cousin? Did Obi-Wan really love Padme? It's all right here, but you'll never see it. George, you can't! Why not? I learned it from you. No! No! Not my Jar Jar! Not my Jar Jar! Not my Jar Jar! Not my Jar Jar! Kill you! These onion rings are pretty grim, but word I'm getting on the script is that it's hot. It'd be a first. Howard and uh, Spielberg seem to think you've got a good shot at an Oscar this time. They would know it. Hope the critics like it, and the fans like it too. George, just a thought. How about a movie about what happened in that house? But only if you're on the floor. Oh no. Weird. Even though I know she's gone.
When the sun shines on the mountain And the night is on the run It's a new day, it's a new way And I fly up to the sun I can feel the morning sunlight I can smell the new moon hay I can hear God's voices calling For my golden skylight way Una Paloma Blanca I'm just a bird in the sky I'm just a bird in the sky Una Paloma Blanca Over the mountains I fly No one can take my freedom away Once I had my share of losing For they locked me on a chain Yes, they tried to break my power Oh, I still can feel the pain Una Paloma Blanca I'm just a bird in the sky Una Paloma Blanca Over the mountains I fly No one can take my freedom away Una Paloma 